All right, because I'm a mega nerd, I'm gonna work out this problem. Um, and this is, you know, we're calculating how many drops when they give us a desired dose. Um, and this usually applies to like lidocaine, dopamine, and even epi. So um, let's remember our equation. Our equation is our drops. equals the volume to be administered times the tubing times the desired dose, whatever it is that they tell us to give, over the drug on hand. It's usually, you know, in, in this example, the drug on hand is going to be our 400 milligrams. This is our volume in 500. And so let's just start plugging things in, um, what we do know. So we do know that we have a volume of 500. Or of 500. We know our, our drop rate is going to be 60 because it's acting for, uh, in micrograms. And we don't know our desired dose yet, so we'll figure that out. And we do know that we have 400 um, milligrams right now of this medication. So let's figure out our, our desired dose. Um, so we have to work it out with the patient's 132 pounds. So we have to convert that into kilograms. We do that by taking 132, dividing it by 2.2, that gives us 60. But we're still not done. They want us to give five micrograms per each kilogram. So we'll times our 60 by the five micrograms. Those are it up here. And that gives us 300. Now before we start multiplying anything, we let we have to get all our all our numbers straight. So this 400 milligrams, it, it won't equal out because this is in micrograms. So we need to figure this out. So to convert our 400 milligrams, we'll multiply that by 1,000. should give us 400,000 micrograms. Very cool. So now we can start doing the math on all this. So 500 times 60 times 300. This gives us 9 million. It's a humongous number. Over 400,000. We divide that by 400,000. And when we do the math, we will get 22.5. That's the drops a minute. Now, to convert that into how many cc's, well, we do know that um, for a 60 drop, each 60 drops equals 1 cc. So we're only going. 22.5 drops a minute. So it's easy. So we divide that by 60. And because of a whole of 60. And that gives us 0.375 cc's a minute. Now this all looks kind of crazy and complicated it's because it is. We're doing it the long way. Some people will take... Um, We'll, we'll dose down the concentration, so the refer to this bottom number is concentration. 
and they'll leave this as a one. And then, and I'll show you what I mean by that. In this case, um, 400 in 500. And that gives you 0.8. Now this is 0.8 in milligrams. You still need to convert that into micrograms for the, for the equation to work. So you'll times that by 1,000. And it gives you a concentration of 800. This is per ml, don't forget. So that means that now your volume is only going to be 1 because we've already reduced the concentration. And that your bottom number will be 800 now. And we can do the math on that. So let's take, set it up in our equation, times 60, our tubing, times our 300 micrograms over our 800, which is now our new concentration. So it's 1 times 60 times 300. That gives us 18,000 over 800. When you divide those out, you still get 2.25. So it works out the same. Um, and so we can check this because I was curious. Um, I'm sure you've all seen the uh, Lidocaine clock. Um, essentially, um, it's just like a little clock to help you gauge how much medications to give, and, and it, it's pretty easy. For one milligram, you'll give 15 drops. For two, you give 30, 30, 45, and so on. So, let's say medical direction gives you, tells you to give two milligrams of lidocaine. You know, we've wor worked out the math. That's how much it is. <clears throat> now we know. Usually, in the tele, it comes packaged in two grams per 500. And usually, this is how lidocaine is packaged. So we can start plugging things into our equation. Um, we'll, we'll leave the, the little drop symbol out because we should know what that means. So we have 500 times 60 times two milligrams because that's how we administer this medication over two grams but again the grams and milligrams don't match up so we need to um, we need to convert those grams into milligrams in this case it's pretty easy it just becomes 2000 and then we can do our math 500 times 60 times 2 equals 60,000 over 2,000. Now some people cross or they'll cancel out and do all sorts of fancy stuff. I'll just stick, you know, stick to it, to, to what I do. This gives us 30. And if we remember, that's 30 drops a minute. So as you can see, this does match our drug dosage and our drip rate, 30 drops, 2 milligrams, then 2 milligrams is what was ordered. And just like our other example, we can reduce this down to its concentration. So in order to do this, we got to put this in milligrams over 500. And if we do the math, that gives us four, four milligrams per ml. So if we plug that back into our equation, our new volume will now be one instead of the 500 times 60 times two over four. So we can do the math on that. It's gonna be 120 over four. We divide by 4, and guess what? We get 30 again, and this is drops a minute.